Hi, this is Mike Duffy with Backcountry Access. Previously, we had shown you a quick trailhead transceiver check. This is something we do every time we go out. What I'm going to show you now is a more thorough transceiver check. Where we're actually checking the effective range of the transceiver. The benefit of doing it this way is you get to learn if everybody in your group knows how to use the transceiver. You learn if you're getting electrical interference that's cutting the effective search range and you get to practice with your transceiver every time you go out. The way we go through this is we'll have everybody in the group gather together. Everybody switches the transmit. Everybody relays the battery strength that showed up on the screen. Then we have everybody go to search. We now know that everybody knows how to put their transceiver in search. At this point, the leader would switch back to transmit and everybody will walk away from the leader and they'll walk out and they'll actually drag out the range farther than they usually would because they're locked onto the signal. It's called signal drag. They'll go out, they'll lose the signal, they'll pull a 180 and then they'll walk in towards the leader and past the leader. When you're doing the walkout to check the range of the transceiver, if one person does not have the range of the others in the group, this is a good time to check for electrical noise. Do they have electric gloves on? Do they have a smartwatch on? Do they have any electronic device that is cutting the effective search range of the transceiver? You don't want to find this out at the time of rescue, find it out at the beginning of the day. This method allows everybody in the group to practice. You get to know the effective range. If there's new people in your group or inexperienced people, they get to practice and you get to know that they're proficient with their transceiver.